I can't claim full credit. John Taranak was head of the MTA Subway Map Committee back in 1979, and a version of the subway map he helped create is in every station today. But he's not happy with what he is seeing because he says it is inconsistent, illegible, and lacking in vital information like defining part-time service. Does that mean that, there's, that the line only operates weekdays or only weekends or whether it operates rush hours. So this 80-year-old map maker and NYU teacher of architectural history wrote to the MTA about a new version of the map shown here, but was not pleased with the MTA's response. They have told me that they are not taking outside vendors to work on their maps. PIX11 asked subway riders what they find confusing about this map. Transfers, maybe that could be made clearer. There are so many different changes, so many different new lines that are out there. Perhaps that could be a little bit more clearer for those who are just moving to New York. That's a very good point. What do you find confusing? Well, a lot of these lines are the same color, and you have to, if, especially, I mean, this is fine, but when you're on the train looking, everything's smaller, and you have to lean over a person, you know? Right. So it's kind of hard to look at everything. So this map maker is hoping the MTA hears his pleas and will let him work on a new version. So you live in hope that they will listen to you and make the map clearer, easier to follow, and more accurate? Absolutely. Those words are golden. But sadly for Mr. Taranak, I don't think he's going to be working or consulting for the MTA anytime soon. A spokesman, Tim Minton, said late this afternoon, quote, we are proud of our internal creative teams that, as Mr. Taranak validated as head of the review committee for an earlier version of the MAC, they clearly do excellent work.